We are full on in the election season. Oh, Politics is oh. getting crazy, whether you like it or not, whether you know about them or you're uninformed, everyone is getting a taste of today's big deal! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. So, by the way, your notes, they found a good place to hide. They're under my butt. Okay, under, that's good. under the kisomba. Mi acordeon. Keeping them warm, yeah. honey. It's right there. I'm hatching it. Yeah. All right. Well, well you know what? It's a, a good way. Does. That's the way they're not going to be hacked, which brings us <laughs> to the story. And, um, you know, the Democratic National Convention was in full swing, and there was a lot of strife. There was a lot of acrimony between the Bernie groups and the Hillary people mm -hmm. because of these DNC leaks that seemed to validate their worst fears that there was a bias during the election process. What do, you, do you think that the Bernie people have a right to be pissed off? And if they do, what do they do going forward? Why do they care? I'm like, he's even out of the race. Why, why do you care so much about these things now? <laughs> yeah, it's a little too late, but I do believe that their anger is validated. Mm. I mean, at the end of the day, the DNC should be a neutral right. um, organization or whatever it mm. is. Um, so it wasn't. So then I, I do believe that they have all the right to be pissed. Mm. I, I do. OK, what do you? I, I, I tend to be on the, same, on the same wavelength, but, you know, I think the issue is that Bernie's created a mass sort of a cult following, mm. and, and this is not the time for culty, weird stuff. <laughs> we have a very serious consequence on our hands, and if Trump becomes president, you know, all these Bernie protesters are going to be like, whoa, we really messed up. Yeah. You know, we should have spent our time supporting Hillary, the candidate, who is, well, as I said before, overly qualified and, and ready for the job and the best person to beat Donald Trump. Resume versus resume, I mean, it's not even a competition. Yeah, I agree. Um, but what do you think the Bernie people should do going forward, then? I do believe that they should support Hillary at this point. Um, because at the end of the day, if they don't, mm -hmm. they're just going to, you know, tip the scales right. towards Trump. I mean, look, if, my... I mean, it's not that they're going to vote for him, but then right. they cannot not vote. Right. I mean, they could go to third parties <laughs> yeah. the way you do it, but if right. they don't vote for anyone, then that's going to be a problem. Well, look, I'll, I'll tell you one so, thing. For me... Um, and they're... Sorry, they're dividing yeah, the Democratic yeah. Party from the inside out. They, they absolutely are. Now, for me, democracy has to mean something. So, okay. um, you know, if you have proof of corruption, and we, all, we understand the political processes has corruption on every side, on every level, but when you have proof of it, I think that somebody should speak up and you should call it out. That being said, there comes a time to move on and to decide whether you're with or whether you're against and not continue to do the protests and the acrimony and lead to, you know, these How much longer is it going to take them to decide which side they're on? Because he's already been out of the race, what, for a month? How, and then they got until November to vote? Yeah. Well, listen, some people are define themselves by their activism and they don't mm. want to let it go. Oh, okay. Good. They're procrastinating. But by the way, <laughs> an ethical yes, criminal. And by the way, this is not a reflection on Hillary. I mean, the <laughs> DNC, that's, they fumbled the ball. Yeah. Hillary did not fumble the I ball. I mean, then there's another issue going on, which is the source of right. the leaking. Yeah. Which I mean, was? What, what kind of leaking around? Russians! Uh -oh. They stole uh -oh. Russians! Oh! <laughs> By the way, speaking of the Russians... Heavy flow, heavy flow. <laughs> before I get to, to uh, our, our... Basically, our hack that we dealt with, what do you think it says about Donald Trump that he is basically encouraging and siding with the Russians in this email leak? Uh. Uh, what? <laughs> well, basically, Donald Trump today, or I'm sorry, Donald Trump last week basically encouraged the Russians <laughs> to go ahead and leak more emails. They want to see more emails. He wants to get all the 33,000 deleted emails that Hillary had on her server. He is and so he's basically vicious. begging the Russians to go find them. Like, he will do anything to stir that pot, to yeah. get that president. That's why his base loves him. That's all right. one of That's the things an ego thing. He's, he's a right. crazy ego. Yeah. Well, think about Putin's ego and Donald Trump's ego. Yeah. Ego attracts ego. ego. Oh, it's per, per, Donald Trump's, you know, thinking probably the okay. only cooler guy we gotta, is Putin. And on that note, we gotta get to rehash, which is our email hack. Check this oh, out. It is hey. time to go over. hundred years ago when it was okay, on paper. That's where you find the emails, by the way, in the garbage can. So we actually got a hand on some of the other DNC emails that okay. were leaked, but they weren't publicized by the media. Oh. So we're gonna go ahead and read them out. Wow. Okay. Um, that definitely show a DNC bias against Bernie Sanders. I'm DNC gonna show. being Democratic, Dem Democratic National, National Committee. Because I'm sure a lot of people right. are watching this and they're like, what the hell is that? Democratic well, National Committee. The, I'm saying the truth. Only about 25% of our audience, hopefully. <laughs> All right, so the first email is the first email is from sassy malays at dnc.org to pepito pinguino at majormedia.com. Uh, so this is the DNC trying to influence the media. The subject, Bernie Smells. Hey, peps, any way we can get the media to focus on the fact that Sanders has a very pungent old man smell? It might marginalize him among millennials, SM. 
I agree. And don't you see? Oh yeah. This is showing me. I mean, people, that's the, <laughs> let's go to the second email and I'm gonna have to read this from the bottom up. Um, this is an in-house DNC email, yeah. uh, and it starts off from demlover at dnc.org to see more butts at dnc.org. <laughs> so we gotta read it from the bottom up, as we usually do when we have a thread. The subject is bathroom issues. Okay. And the question is, how can we hit Bernie harder on the bathroom issue? Oh. The response was, you mean the trans rights issue? And the final reply was, no, his bathroom issues. The man has to go to the bathroom every five minutes. <laughs> is it the Lord of the Belt to hit him on the prostate? Oh, I God. mean, come on, he had no chance of people. Old people have bladder problems, yeah. honey, you know? All right, now, it's true. here are some more emails showing that DNC has a strong bias, um, among other things. Uh, here's an email from Debbie Wasserman Schultz's personal email account, dizzywizzyshizzy at dnc.org, <laughs> to a fellow <laughs> DNC member, Giuseppe Papelin at dnc.org. The subject matter is she must win at all cost. It reads, someone needs to tell their team the whining and complaining is getting old. We all know Kim K had the last word with that clapback snap. Huh? Okay, this email shows the DNC has a clear, unequivocal bias towards Team Kim Ye in the Kanye Kim versus Taylor Swift. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. I mean, she didn't it's even like want to hear that. I mean, that's a fair bias. Like, I think Kim Ye, go Kim Ye. There was We're so many joking Kim about it, but I think in four years, I wouldn't be surprised if they, they put themselves as candidates, minute, Kim that, and that, Kanye. These are real emails, okay, that we obtained through our Russian friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so the yeah, next, thank you, by Russia. the way, yeah. we actually got hacked Kidding. ourselves. Like, uh, these were oh. DNC hacks. <laughs> the LATV.com uh -oh. server was hacked, and, you know, we experienced our own mastermind, uh, you know, weekly dump, and, and what I found was that the director of our show uh -huh. sent out an email to the rest of the staff about me and my issues. Okay, and whoa. yeah, it says, it's from our director's email, columbianpoppy69 <laughs> at latv.com. <laughs> Daniel, to the Zoopals at LATV, and the subject is, we will not tolerate this. And he says, once again, Umberto's, I'm a registered independent, so I can do whatever I want attitude has damaged the image and reputation of the zoo. We all collectively decided that we are going up and ovary with the toilet paper rolls and not under thunder. Anyone what? caught under thundering already will be underwrited and will be written up best Daniel, our zoo director. Look, man. I want to be in the gray area when it comes to toilet paper, okay? okay? This TP movement, and by TP, I don't mean third party, oh, I mean man. toilet paper movement. It oh. has to continue. I will not be committed. I am not in a gray <laughs> area, area when it comes to toilet paper. Yeah, only uh, a Colombian poppy can make <laughs> rules like that. <laughs> so we have, the, we have that in. By the way, what do you guys... Okay, uh, you know what? I was going to ask you what do you guys think about email hacks, but I just got hacked. My Ooh. mind just got hacked, and I realized we need to go out to commercial.